Jesus has just reinterpreted the meaning of the bread and the wine of the Passover meal for his disciples, effectively inaugurating the first communion meal or Lord's Supper. And now in a remarkable statement, he points to the reality that his death will not be the end. Truly I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Amid the talk of betrayal, broken bread and blood poured out, Jesus adds a note that points to a brighter future. He doesn't avoid the reality of what he needs to do in the coming hours, but he tells them that they can look forward to a day of victory. Jesus gives them something to look forward to, a day in which everything will be made new, a day in which the kingdom of God will be fully manifested. On that day, Jesus will be together with all who have accepted his body and blood for their salvation. The fruit of the vine was never meant to be drunk in sorrow. When Jesus says, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in the kingdom of God. This is fulfilled at the end of the book of Revelation when John writes, He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. What is your favorite song about the glorious future Jesus has prepared for you? Look up the lyrics and pray through them.